Hi Pisces and welcome to your tarot love reading for the month. Um, we are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here in relation to love and romance this month. As always guys, these messages are general so please just be mindful of that throughout the spread. Now if you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section along with all the information that you will need. Okay, with all of that being said, fishies, let's go ahead and see what messages the month here is going to hold for you. So we'll just give the cards a shuffle and we will see what messages are coming in for Pisces. So the reading here is intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course to all of our cross-watching buddies as well. Okay, Pisces, you have the Queen of Wands here, Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, okay, the High Priestess, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Now, the overall energy to crown the reading bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. Okay, for a lot of you Pisceans, um, I'm getting the notion of home, okay? So, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that... I'm seeing you're coming... A lot of you are coming one step closer... Um, to manifesting your dreams, your goals, your desires. For some of you, there is a strong indication of a reunion here suggested um, by the cards. So you may be reuniting with um, a lover, a former lover, um, a friend. It could even be a relative here. You could also have someone coming back from the past this month. Okay, It could be someone who has ghosted you, Pisces. It could be someone with whom you still may have some sort of unfinished business. You guys might have been over, but deep down inside Pisces, you are very intuitive. You always sense that although it was over, it wasn't just quite over yet, that there were, the, the two of you would cross paths again, and the two of you would reconnect on some level. Even though you nev you, you've never really had evidence, I guess, to support your intuition, but you've always felt very strongly, Pisces, that deep inside, you and this person would connect here, would once again cross paths, or would once again connect here. Okay, dreams are going to be very big this month. Okay, Pisces is, you know, you 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 are represented by a set of um, by a set of fishes. Okay, one that swims away from the real world, and the other that swims into the real world. Um, Pisces is often deemed otherworldly but in a beautiful kind of way and um, to me I feel like dreams are going to be um, very important and very significant this month so pay attention to dreams it could even be I'm talking about premonitions I'm talking about dreams arriving I meet messages arriving to you um, through the form of dreams um, symbols number patterns but I feel like for some of you, there's a strong psychic connection that I'm picking up. It's between you and this other person. Strong water energy also present is what I'm sensing. A Cancer, a fellow Piscean or a Scorpio. There's a strong psychic connection between you and this individual. For a lot of you, I feel like maybe you've had reoccurring dreams of you connecting with this person again or of this person coming back into your life. Um, Pisces, you will see that throughout this month here, this person is going to re-enter your life. That's, that's very strong, that's very powerful for a lot of you Pisces, because I feel like this could be a soulmate connection. This is someone whom you've been thinking about, and I get that this person has been thinking about you too. Now, with the Queen of Wands, I'm just seeing a lot of you a lot more confident this month, okay? You're so much more... I feel like you have direction. You have direction, you have this confidence, even if it is a quiet confidence about you here with the Queen of Wands. Um, people see you as an independent, fierce, creative individual. Sometimes um, romantic suitors can be a little bit intimidated by that. But I feel like you're really, for one reason or another, you're really sure of yourself or you're really sure about what it is you want.
from out of a relationship or what it is you want from out of a connection or for those of you that are single you're really sure about the type of partner you want to attract and I don't see you settling for anything less I do like this confidence about you and it's you're projecting I feel like you're projecting a lot of confidence and people are noticing that you may find that you'll be attracting a lot of suitors there could be more than one individuals who are going to express a romantic interest in you but those of you that are because I'm seeing choices but those of you that are um, across online dating apps or if you are quite active on social media you'll notice that you'll be um, attracting a lot more followers and you'll be attracting a lot more attention. It's just this confident energy, confident aura about you, Pisces, here this month. Um, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be some sort of important decision. And I feel like this decision perhaps relates to someone who comes back into the picture. This person may come back into your picture, but I into the picture here, but I feel like you're too much you're in two minds about it, Pisces. I'm not sure why, because it's almost like, uh, well, do I, you know, do I reopen the doors to the past? Or do I just leave it in the past and, you know, um, lock the door behind me? I feel like you're in two minds. Um, I'm also seeing you're very... There's a lot going on internally here, Pisces. Slow down. Be still. Be still, fishies. I know you always need to be, you know, in constant fluidity. Um, but be still, because I feel like there's so much going on. It feels a little bit hectic, especially in, in matters of your romantic life as well. I feel like for a lot of you, there is going to be some drama that I see surfacing this month. Some drama. There is going to be a lot happening here. You will receive communication from someone whom you haven't heard from in a long time. I'm also seeing for a lot of you, for those of you that are active on dating apps, I'm seeing you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of romantic suitors that are coming forward that you're attracting. You've got a lot of choices to, to, um, to choose from here. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, okay, there, this is um, earthly energy here, the Aces. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. Okay, um, I feel like you're going to be given something here this month. For, for those of you that are in a romantic connection, I mean, this could come because you could be celebrating your birthday here. Or you're celebrating or are you you're the one that's I feel like you're the one that's giving something um, it's very valuable from what I can see or it's going to become very sentiment sentimental someone will gift you with something that I feel like will be very sentimental here in the um, for you here okay this is also a steady loving relationship with the ace of Pentacles here so for some of you, you could be reconnecting with someone from the past and you will be entering into a steady loving relationship. Or for those of you that are in a romantic connection, I feel like you will continue to um, you continue to progress. I see forward progression and I see movement here. So a steady loving, loyal relationship, abundance and prosperity in love. Okay, which is beautiful. Um, I'm seeing for, for some of you, you're bringing a feeling back of independence into a relationship. So there's a sense of individuality, independence that is coming back into the relationship here. For others of you, I feel like for those of you that are single, the message I'm getting here is be sure to take off practical matters first, handle that first before you enter any relationships. Now with the High Priestess, I am seeing a lot of you are going to be experiencing some very, it feels very real, some very... Um, Uh, realistic dreams and those realistic dreams will bring messages now you could even um, dream of a soulmate here they do say that often when we dream we never we always like the people that we see in our dreams often they are people um, the the faces of the people belong to people that we have crossed paths with okay people that we we we, we already know we never dream of someone entirely new okay but from what I can see Pisces I feel like some of you are going to be dreaming of a, uh, a soulmate okay some of you are going to have dreams that are going to lead to premonitions or dreams that have some very important messages for you okay now with the seven of cups i'm just seeing so some of you i don't know why but and i feel like this is also stems outside of romantic connections but you're going to have a lot this is 
you're dealing with a lot and especially like on an emotional level I see you know you're quite sensitive and fragile as is Pisces not fragile like a flower but fragile like a bomb um, and you're quite uh, you know you, you're very dreamy you guys tend to have your head in the clouds a lot of the time and whilst there's nothing wrong with that um, I do see you sort of there's a lot of escapism here that I'm seeing this month um, your creativity is really going to be heightened as will your sensitivity and therefore I feel like you can produce some really good creative work and endeavors and um, creative outlets could really help you express some of that you know heightened um, emotional sensitivity that I'm seeing in the cards for you but I'm also seeing um, I'm also seeing a lot of choices you're gonna to have to make it's like you've got so many things in your head you have so many ideas or you just have so many visions um, you know that you sort of want to anchor yourself to but I feel like they're all floating around in your head you need to cement them okay um, I feel like you need to take care of the practical first is what I see um, and yeah with the seven of cups we're just seeing a lot of choices it's like for some of you you're going to choose from more than one or for more than two or three romantic suitors um, I'm just seeing a lot of choices here. You're going to have to make uh, a significant choice that I feel like will impact you. Uh, an important choice or a decision in, when it comes to a romantic relationship that could impact your love life greatly here. And for the Knight of Swords, watch for anyone who, I'm not sure whether this is your energy, you could find yourself a little bit more argumentative this month, purely because I feel like you're, you're, you know, you're standing your ground, you're standing for the causes that you believe in, or there may be something that you're very passionate about that you're going to want to um, sort of argue for this month here. Um, it could also be a conversation that turns sour. Someone could already sort of come in with a, someone who may have a personal vendetta against you or a personal vendetta against something that you've said or, or maybe done. I'm not sure what this is, but I feel like someone here has got this aggressive stance, like they've got a bone to pick with you, Pisces. So be careful. And I feel like that's possibly towards the end of the month. It could also be this individual that comes back. They may have feelings of guilt or repression, or they may feel maybe this is someone who's ghosted you in the past and, you know, they've now come to their sense they've come to their senses and they've come to the realization that they probably shouldn't have acted the way that they've acted and maybe they're going to want to defend themselves and maybe you're going to hold them accountable for their actions um and it's good that you do but i feel they're just be careful because i feel their energy is just even as i do this reading it feels a little like oh feels like they're a little aggressive they've got a bone to pick they've got something to say but again it could be you you're the one that maybe has something to say to them so be careful not to butt heads or lock horns with anyone here because um, I feel like this could be easily avoided especially if you feel you know tempers flaring up it's probably best to remove yourself away from that person or away from that uh, situation okay Pisces and that is the month for you the biggest takeaway that I'm um, picking up this month is the dreams here a lot of um, a lot of realistic dreams here and um, a reconnection, a reconnection with someone from your past who's going to put you in a very good emotional state. So uh, for the most part, <laughs> it is someone that you're going to, that you wanted to reconnect with or it is someone that you've been thinking, dreaming about. Okay, there you have it guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting or sharing. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.